Have you ever wanted to take a decorative stitch or even just a satin stitch and taper it? Well, on the Husqvarna Viking Brilliant 75, there is a whole entire menu of stitches dedicated to be taperable. Is that a word? Well, we're gonna make it a word today. If you touch and hold the tab with the zigzag on it, and we're going all the way down to the Q menu, that will actually show us a grouping of stitches called tapering stitches. Okay, so how does this actually work? So first off, you'll notice that you have a satin stitch as your first stitch. So let's just kind of visually get an idea of what tapering a decorative stitch is all about. As you can see on screen, we've got a slight taper to the beginning of this stitch, as well as the end of the stitch. These stitches, you're gonna be able to select the angle that you wish it to start, and you can actually choose a different angle for how it's going to end. You also notice the, the button that looks like your reverse button, which is that what it means, is how you're gonna tell the machine how long you want the stitch to be. So as you're sewing, you can start out, it'll taper it at the beginning and then it'll keep going. When you want it to end or taper and finish, you're gonna touch not here on the screen, but the actual button on the head frame that has the reverse button symbol on it. Now, as we go in to our taper editing area, you're gonna notice a new function here, so below where you can change the width, the length, and everything, you're gonna find a function with kind of some angles on it. So when you open this up, here's how you can change it. The two tabs at the top refer to if you're changing the beginning of the taper, so the beginning of the stitch or the end of the stitch. So we could actually just go ahead, let's just place a few different looks on screen. So from 30 degrees from the left or 60 from the center, 30 degrees from the right. Look at all the degrees, so 45 degrees. So this, if you were to stitch, you could have a perfect Kind of think of a picture frame, a perfect mitered corner, and you could go all the way around it. So we've got 90, 45, 60, 120, and none. So that means you could have none at the beginning and something at the end. So you can choose how you wish. So let's go ahead and let's do that 45 here on this side, and then we can go to the end taper, and again, we could have different sizes. This is amazing. I just love how you can touch and see what you're gonna get. So if you wanted it to be 45 to that side, different from the first side, we could probably do it that way. That's gonna look the best. So I'm gonna just give you an idea. So let's go ahead, confirm our taper. And once again, as we start to stitch, we can go as long as we want, but as soon as we wanna end it, we'll touch the reverse button. Here's how it's gonna look. We've been talking about the decorative stitches, stitching them out for your stitch book. And this is just a nice little variety of stitches. And I have put on some variegated thread and it just adds for a little pop of color there too. Okay, so here's how it's gonna look. It will start with the taper from the direction that you set it for. And now it's gonna go and go as long as you want. As soon as you want it to taper and end, touch the reverse button and just sew until it stops. Now I mentioned this could be like a picture frame. If you set it to stop with the needle in the down position, that means we could turn it 90 degrees and actually continue. Now, I will tell you this takes a little bit of practice. It's not that you need to know how to get it lined up because it'll line up on its own, but just, just so you know like how many stitches forward it's gonna take to really get you to the result that you're looking for. So here we go. Touch the reverse button to end it. And so see how that taper has gone. And we can keep going all the way around if we choose. That is so fun to work with. Now, let's go back because there were other stitches on screen that could have the taper function applied to them. So let's just go ahead and select another decorative stitch. Now it will keep the same tapers that we had earlier. Of course, you could go into the edit area and adjust them because I will tell you some stitches are gonna look better 
in a certain degree than others will. So you just have to kind of play around. Let's go ahead and just leave them both at 45. And then let's just select some of the different stitches. So just keep an eye on the beginning and end of these stitches, see how they're going to look. That one doesn't show much because it is um, of the direction it is. There we go. I think this is one of my favorites. I just love how it looks at the beginning and end. There will be some stitches on some areas that don't look as unique. This one actually turns out really well too. All right, next page. So can you see you actually have three, you have 28 stitches that all have options to change the way they begin and end. Now, if you haven't taken time to stitch out your stitch book, make sure you check that link in the description below or you can, and so you can start stitching them out. If this has been helpful and you've never done tapering stitches, give it a try, stitch out a couple. Don't forget some stabilizer underneath your fabric so you have good looking results. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate your support.